We are learning more about the West Side area where a 12-year-old girl was grazed in the elbow by a bullet. That girl was riding in the back seat of a car with her mother and aunt when the shooting happened. The girl's aunt was driving down San Juan Avenue trying to turn on Lane Avenue when bullets flew. Today, neighbors say the girl is in the hospital. News for Jack's reporter Destiny McKee for joining us from the intersection where it happened. Destiny, we reported last night the girl will recover. How is she doing this evening? Thankfully, I was able to speak with a neighbor. That neighbor tells me she's expected to make a full recovery. Now, the neighbor talked to the parents, and he says that they were out in this area having breakfast, and they were headed home when those shots rang out. Today at the corner of San Juan Avenue and Lane Avenue, there's lots of traffic. According to people who were around when a 12 year old was grazed by a bullet, the area is always congested. The girl was grazed near her elbow. Every day there's constant um, sirens, police officers flying by. Um, there's always people out here causing promotions. We spoke with Ashley Beatty, who works at the nearby Gammy's Country Cooking. She says she did not witness the shooting, but other business owners knew about it. In this police report, a woman said she was driving down San Juan Avenue and attempting to turn onto Lane Avenue when she saw a champagne colored vehicle pull up next to her. She described the driver as a dark man. The woman reported hearing two gunshots and then her knee screamed out after being grazed by the bullet. It's appalling. I mean, it's it's sad, but honestly, with the world today, it's it's becoming more and more common. The family's neighbor says the family recently purchased the car. The neighbor says the car had less than 30 miles on it. And police are likely looking at surveillance footage from businesses here nearby. We did try to see if we can get some of that footage from those businesses. Right now, that is unavailable. It's still unclear if that man in the vehicle that pulled up next to them was the one who fired those shots. Of course, we're asking those questions, and we will get back with you as soon as we know the answer. Reporting live, I'm Destiny McKeever, Channel 4, The Local Station.